Okay. Um, so we are well launched into the year um, farming, uh, not farming, yes, farming. Um, planting is well underway, done in some regions of the country. Well, heck, right so, you can row corn. In some can row corn e- around I'm here, very so. happy about that. Yes. Um, anyway, so uh, foliar season, wheat is already is here. Some done, some to go. The further north you go, obviously, stuff starts in the south and ends in the north. It's a beautiful thing. It's gorgeous. And so, I mean, dude, I was watching a guy on Instagram. His corn, mm, it'll be tasseled in three weeks. Crazy. I know. Mine will, I'll be spraying post emerge at V4 in three weeks. Yep. And so, yeah, not quite. Yeah, somewhere there. But, and then Minnesota, they're just starting to put. Uh, corn I said, we're just going heavy now in my neck of the woods. Yeah. It's, yeah. And, uh, you know, so obvious. It, it's crazy. It's not that much distance. It's amazing. Excuse me, amazing the weather change. These are just so good. These are so freaking good. I love these things. You, that's all I'm going to say. It's good, root beer. It's good. Yeah. Uh, So foliar feeding, I would say let's start at some. And I've, you, you, I mean, you can talk. I've I've done a lot of foliar feeding at this point. So I feel, I have a lot of conversations, guys. I feel pretty confident talking about foliar feeding and just the basics um, that a lot of guys don't know. I mean, water pH is so huge. So huge. Yeah. So for foliar feeding applications on uh, probably all crops, is there? I'd say all crops. All crops. You want to be in the mid fives to six. Yeah. Uh, And I would say probably the closer to that five five or slightly lower, the better. Okay. Um, What pH is like? Not okay. Well, I wouldn't even say not okay. It's just you're you may be wasting money. You know, is it, is it, are your efficacy goes down? Yeah. Efficacy goes down, but then also, you know, if it sits on that leaf and, or would you say it rains now you just, I mean, it's no different than doing a wide drop application with a lot less pounds. Oh, sure. (laughs) You know what I mean? Sure. So if it, if it's not absorbing through that leaf to get that foliar feeding effect, that efficiency gained or the, I don't want to say the pounds you created, but since you're applying it on the leaf, the X factor, you know? So, yeah. um, I think nature's actually has a really nice chart on this. Okay. Um, they say like, I think nitrogen was seven pounds per day. Well, seven pounds of N is the equivalent of one pound foliar. So if I go out there and oh. put a pound of nitrogen foliar fed and it gets sure. absorbed through that leaf tissue correctly, yeah. it's the same as throwing on a seven additional pounds. Of nitrogen. Interesting. The one that, out of that chart, that really was like hot diggity dog. And I, th- I believe the, the the studies were from Michigan State is where they got these numbers, was the FOSS. Okay. FOSS was like 20 to 1. So if you apply one pound of FOSS, it's like the same as applying 20 pounds of FOSS. So we talk a lot about fertility efficiency. Yep. Um, guys can put 40 pounds on, but if they only get three in the plant... Mm-hmm. You got 37 wasted pounds. Yep. Sure, there's an argument to be made of me there for later crops, but you, I, dude, the, the, the fertility I put on, I put on for that crop. Yep. Like, I don't put it on, I don't, I didn't run starter in my planter this spring going, gosh, I can't wait till the beans take this next year. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> no. Amen. Now, in my mind, will they? Will there be some available that it, next year through root breakdown and everything else, and recycle, min, remineral, or re nutrient recycling? Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, nah, man, I, I put stuff out for this year yeah. for this crop, um, and so uh, yeah. So pH is a big one. Uh, efficiency. We talk about efficiency through the root zone, but efficiency through the Leaf tissue. So the leaf tissue is also a big one. Yep. Um, yep. Is how so we talk about FOSS is not mobile hardly at all in soil. It's very very it moves very slow. Is it that way in the plant or not so much? No. I mean, once it's in a plant available form, that phosphorus. I mean, it's so important for ATP uh, and ener- energy within the plant. Period. Okay. Okay. So that energy creation, phosphorus is needed. That plant can 
move that to where it needs to be. Okay. So um, without getting too far into the weeds with it, long story short, just no fosses helps with energy, um, energy. And while that corn plant, I mean, it's still quote unquote burning calories because it's growing, right? Sure. No matter if it's growing an ear or growing, um, Pause, leaf tissue, leaves, whatever. Yeah. Tillers. So, so it's still going through cell respiration. I know that we know a plant goes through photosynthesis, but also goes through cell respiration. Again, that's high school biology, but on the same token, let's not forget about that. Yeah. So that phosphorus is very key into that part of the cycle Got as it. well. Um, if you want to learn more about plant or nutrients, yep, we did a whole YouTube series, right, Kurt? On, on uh, 18, 18, 17, 17, 17 right? Because there's one person out there waiting <laughs> yeah, for the 18 yes, video <laughs> to drop. <laughs> you lucky person. Anyway, the little they know part two, part two. 36 <laughs> series. Uh, no, anyway, so. Um, we have a YouTube series. We have, we have a YouTube channel. In that channel, we've got uh, the 17 um, nutri- critical nutrients. Man, I thought it was an even number. Why do I think that? 17 nutrients uh, important to plants uh, in, in, and whatnot. So check that out. Yeah. Single ergonomics, YouTube, plant nutrients. It's on there. It's great. Yeah. It's Johnny in the field. Yeah, and I would say a big thing with those is you know, trying to get very short snippets of those nutrients and what I look at, what I think about. Um, the short what, and what, sweet. Yeah. What's it do? Well, how do I, what's it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was the goal. That sure. is the goal. Because yeah. at the end of the day, there's a, everybody takes information differently. And that was an opportunity to present that information maybe a little different way than they've saw yet. Yeah. Man, there's a lot of farmers that are like, dude, just, just tell me the basics of what it does. Yep. You know, like you said, FOSS helps with energy. Yep. And this and that. Um, so foliar feeding. Guys, if you've liked the information that you've seen so far, go ahead and check out the full length podcast on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe there. It's also on all the major plat- podcast platforms. Um, we're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Check it out for a lot more content.